Meet Ted, our systems engineer. He's in Wireshark sniffing packets because he were trying to get to a web server and sometimes it's taking too long to load. The problem is, is that the web app is sitting here and the database is somewhere else. And in order to get the data over, it takes maybe like 30 seconds to 60 seconds or sometimes more depending on how big the data is and what kind of data you're trying to pull to the web app. That's where Redis caching comes into play. Let's pretend that the water in this cup is data. Now the cup is empty, right? So this is our Redis cache. It's currently empty. And me, over here, I am the cache worker. Now me as the worker, I'm a software. And I'm gonna go out to the database. And the database is the sink. And the water is the data. We're gonna fill up our cache with all the data. Now our cache is full of data, me the cache worker, I'm going to bring it back to our web application. And now there's water, data, right here ready to use. So now if Ted, our network engineer, needs to use some of the data, needs some water, now we don't have to go all the way to the other room to get our water. The water's right here, it's already full. We can use the data, so it's like a cache, it's like